What's something that's popular to hate that you actually enjoy? Broccoli. I don't get why so many people hate it. Edit, well, this is certainly my highest rated comment. I now understand what RIP my inbox means. With most vegetables, you just have to prepare them right. When I was a kid, my parents just steamed or boiled most of them, and with broccoli it makes it taste like a fart. I make a recipe regularly where you toss it with oil, salt, pepper, and minced garlic then roast it in the oven for 45 minutes. Wow. It's like crack. The airport. I like going early and hanging out. Nothing to do and nowhere else to go for a while, great place to read, catch up on work, stream shows. I even get stoked when my flight gets delayed as long as I don't have a deadline on the other end. Wow really I thought I was the only one. I can eat good food, depending on the airport, but stuff like O'Hare and Reagan is nice, I've never really had a problem with TSA, I've never experienced anything else. I'm not in a hurry for anything. I can relax and unwind, all while sitting neatly with my bags packed, ready to go somewhere. I can wander around and I just love the atmosphere at night. Airplanes are also fun too. I don't usually fly with families, so no crying babies. I love the science behind airplanes. I can sit back, eat, watch TV, and end up in completely different place. It's like a little world up there in the sky. I love the night sky and the view as we take off and land. I just really like airplanes. The YA book genre. I know it's not high standard literature, but that's exactly why I like it. I like that it's an easy read, and that I don't have to use my brain too much. I have a tendency to overthink everything and this helps me to reset my brain so I don't get a brain overload. I think a big problem with YA is that the market get inundated with poorly written books by people trying to hop on the bandwagon. There's a ton of really shitty Twilight and Hunger Games ripoffs that are purely there for profit, not storytelling. I'm a bit of a book snob, but I genuinely enjoyed reading a few YA series in adulthood. I think Pretties is one of my favorites. I haven't seen this one yet. Guy Fieri. I have heard he is super nice and does a whole lot of charity work. If he wants to wear a flame shirt and have frosted tips, you do you boo boo. Edit, grammar, dumb phone. Edit 2, my most upvoted comment is about the mayor of Flavortown. Thanks guys. Valentine's Day. It's kind of nice to have a day dedicated to telling the person you're with that they're special, and to do something as simple as go out on a date, or buy flowers or chocolate for each other. Life gets hectic and people lose their passion, so they often don't always show the person they're with how much they mean to them, it's kind of nice to have a day set aside for appreciating your significant other, even if it is forced and commercialized. Math. I actually have a lot of fun with it. Used to make up more problems for myself when I finished my homework as a kid. I still enjoy helping other people learn it. It's a challenge to simplify it and look at it different ways to help someone see it. Okay. Hear me out. I legit like Friday by Rebecca Black. Even the video. You just have to go numb to the annoying elements. Very important step. Which is a lot of things. To be fair. But the general vibe is coming and it has its moments. It's weirdly soothing. The build up to the song in the beginning is really nice. The awkward dancing in the car from the shorter girl is magnificent. All the lyrics are hilariously vapid and it's pretty funny. Taken abstractly it provides such a great satire of mainstream American culture. It helps remind me of the fun times in life. La Croix apparently. It has become really trendy to shit on the stuff recently. I think it is a delicious substitute for sodas and has been an incredible aid in improving my quality of life. When people accuse it of being flavorless, I am just dumbfounded. That's like getting angry at the waiter because the lemon slice in your water doesn't make it lemonade. Edit, it's a beverage folks, there really is no need to get so passionate for or against it. Let people like or dislike what they want. Lincoln Park. 
Felt really bad when Chester died. Shadow of the Day is one of the best of their songs. Edit, someone mentioned this earlier but ended up deleting their comment. Whoever you are, hope you're okay. I'm not sure why you deleted your comment, but I trust your reasons were good.